And a chilly good morning from, uh, again, a beautifully sunny but very chilly Riga. And today, day three of a uh, random public transport journey. Now, um, previously I've done uh, a random tram ride. I've done a random bus ride, bus number three, which was extremely interesting yesterday. And um, my methodology for choosing which route to go on was quite simple. Quick look at Google Maps, have a little look where there appears to be places of interest outside the centre of Riga and uh, see if there's a, uh, a route that goes in that general direction. Look at the route plan for the public transport. So, today I started having a look to see which trolleybus route would be interesting. And frankly, I couldn't actually see anywhere on any of the routes that took my fancy. So I just did a bit of Googling and I just put in a simple Google search for interesting trolleybus routes in Riga. And Trolley 15 came up. In fact, Trolley 15 came up quite frequently for quite a few reasons, which hopefully we'll get to the bottom of during this video. But uh, I read a very interesting article uh, from a website, lsm.lv, which went on to describe how Trolley 15 had become almost mythic, um, or reached an almost mythical status, or legendary status here in Riga, particularly with students, as it passes quite a few of the universities here. Uh, it goes through some of the suburbs and uh, yeah but uh, what really caught my attention most of all was that it's actually inspired a song by and apologize again here for to any Latvians listening I, I presumably the name of the band is pronounced astronaut and uh, they produced a song I think back in 2006 so quite a while ago now uh, by the name of Dalla Rigas, which I had a had a look for online. It's available on the usual streaming services. And I also noted it was available on YouTube, an actual video of the song, official video, and it's had over two and a half million views. Had a listen, don't understand much of the, uh, uh, or any of the lyrics really. But it's, uh, it's a nice enough song in itself. Quite a so really chilly, green, chilly wind blowing today. So, uh, Mara, if you do watch this, hello, I like your song. And uh, hopefully you'll get a few more clicks out of that. Um, what else can I say? It's, uh, it's also got its own unofficial Twitter account. Got its own unofficial Twitter account. All of these I'll uh, pop in links below if you want to click on them and have a look at the video or say hi on the Twitter account. Um, now most of that's in Latvian also. So I didn't understand a great deal, but it, essentially it, uh, it describes people's uh, weird and wonderful experiences. Which was uh, quite an interesting thing, I have to say. So, without any shadow of a doubt, trolley number 15 was the one I chose for today. It starts outside the University of Latvia, which is about a five minute walk from here. It seems to be a pretty regular service, so I'm just going to wander over there now, past the nine o'clock yet again, and, uh, and we'll jump on board. Now, this isn't really about where the trolley is ending up. This is going to be more about the places it passes. So I'm not sure I'm going to be jumping off, but en route between here and the end of the line at uh, Visku Iela, or Ela, Visku Ela, I'll jump off and we'll have a see what's there. So join me on Trolley 15. Click the links, say hello on Twitter, and uh, watch that video. It really is a good song, actually. Right, my hand's cold. I need a coffee, and then we're gonna head to the trolley.
Right. Well, that's the trolley bus, and that's the number four. This is where the, uh, the buses, uh, the trolley buses, all pick up from along here. So um, just wait patiently now for number fifteen to come along. Ah, oh, there's the number three. My favourite, my favourite bus in in uh, Riga, and uh, subject of another video. Which, uh, if you're interested, that was fascinating. It takes you to a really, really beautiful part of. Riga. Uh, I was blown away by it, I have to say. Um, looking at the map, um, this is, uh, I think, trolley bus number 15 is going to be more of a cultural journey rather than beauty. Uh, but I'm sure we'll pass some interesting places nevertheless. Now, Doesn't say number 15 on there. Interesting, right. Okay. Right, onwards. Ah, there we go. There's number 15. Now, will I get across before he goes? He starts from just there. Right, my first jumping off point, uh, Katoluila. Uh, just, um, I believe, quite a gritty suburb here in in Riga. Just gonna have a quick look to see what's around. Uh, for, well, let's see how frequently these trolley buses run. Oh, very free, every six, six or seven minutes by the looks of things, so. Um, even more frequently than that in the week so yeah no no hanging around Yeah, um, pink painted brickwork, the red bricks above, the uh, green roof over there, really offsets lovely against the blue sky today. And uh, when there's some leaves on those trees, it would look even better. Just taking a little stroll off the main drag where the trolley bus dropped off there. the number 15 going back in the other direction. That was the uh, Riga television and TV tower, by the way. Well, I guess you probably guessed that.
One thing I've noticed about Riga is that uh, once you get out of old Riga itself, it does have its uh, fair share of green spaces. Here's another one. It's just, uh, it's not massive, but it uh, does the trick. And a uh, nice green tree-lined place to uh, a while away, a little short period of time, I guess, on your lunch break. Uh, if you look on a map of Riga, yeah, as I say, once you're outside of the the old, the very centre, old Riga, uh, there is quite a few of these parks uh, dotted about, so uh, never too far away, wherever you are, by the looks of things. Quite a lot of churches as well, I've noticed there's another one just over there. Another fabulous morning for just walking around. I can't get astronaut song out of my head, which is strange because uh, don't understand any of the words apart from the obvious uh, title that um, crops up throughout the song. <laughs> Not short on graffiti either. Some of it's good. This area is, uh, again, I have to keep apologising for my appalling pronunciation. Maskavas for Stata or for State. And uh, this used to be a Jewish ghetto. There's no real evidence of, uh, of that now, I don't think. But um, during the occupation, this was a Jewish ghetto. Right, let's take a stroll back towards the trolley bus stop and uh, move onwards to somewhere else. Unless I see something interesting to peer at on my way. trolley. I'm going to uh, jump off at every third stop. This is the third stop from when I originally joined at the beginning, so I'm going to join every third stop from now on and uh, see where it takes us. Well, I guess this is as uh, random as I can make it now. Um, as I did study uh, Google a little bit uh, more for this particular random, so-called random public transport ride, um, I'm just gonna have to turn it into a random stop. So uh, this is the, the next one, the next, uh, let's start again. This is the third stop from the previous, Lomonosova Hila. And um, let's have a little look around here. Again, the green space. Let's go for a jog and uh, walk, uh, walk your dog, etc. Now, if I don't stay here very long, probably the ticket inspectors that just check my ticket on the, on the trolley I've just got off will be waiting for the next one. They seem to jump on quickly check everyone's ticket and then jump off at the next stop. I'm presuming they're going to wait for the next one, which I might well be on. However, I'll go for a little walk around here first. 
it's another good reason. Right, as I've mentioned on the other videos, public transport tickets here in Riga. <clears throat> so, if you're arriving by aeroplane to the international airport and you wish to take the bus, if that's your preferred option, you've really got an option of, uh, unless someone's picking you up with uh, give you a lift uh, is taxi or um, or the bus bus number 22 uh, you do get met by numerous taxi drivers outside arrivals I'm not suggesting they're going to be trying to rip you off but it's not unheard of for taxi touts to be doing that sort of thing so do your homework if you're planning on a taxi I know Bolt operate here, I'm not too sure about Uber, but uh, there's possibly a better way of doing it than just jumping in a random taxi. Anyway, I'm not interested in all of that. Public transport. So, if you buy a one-way ticket from the airport to the centre of Riga on the 22 bus, it will cost you two euros. The journeys around Riga on the trolley that I've just been on. Uh, done by time, a 90 minute ticket will cost you one euro fifty. So if you're going to plan to travel around at all, that's roughly how much it's going to cost per journey. You can buy a three day pass for eight euros and a five day pass for ten euros. So uh, that will also include that airport run to and from, which. Uh, if my maths is correct this morning, we'll come to four euros there and back, which leaves you either a further four euros to spend or six euros differential onto the passes. So if you're gonna do more than three trips during a uh, three day trip or five trips during a five day trip, then I'd say your pass is probably the best option. You can go to a Narvison shop and buy that. There is one just outside the departures uh, entrance to the airport. Pop in there, buy a ticket and then you don't need to be messing about trying to buy tickets. You can't buy them on the buses and the trams or trolley buses. You need to buy the tickets in advance. The machines uh, to buy them are as rare as rocking horse doo-doo. Um, but you can pick them up, I believe, at Rimmy Shops, Narvison's, Post Office, maybe some others. Um, but if you just do it the once at the airport, get a pass, then you won't have to do it again for the entirety of your trip. That would be my recommendation. Okay, so, I've had a little walk around this park. Let's, uh, let's proceed down here before we go and jump on the trolley and uh, jump three more stops see where that takes us to. Yeah, if I'm understanding the signs correctly, now I've walked through that park properly. This is in fact, well, there we have it in English as well, uh, the old Jewish cemetery. So yeah, I uh, apologize for just referring to it as uh, a green space and a park. It is actually a cemetery. Over here, however, is a park, Maskavas. Again, apologies for the pronunciation. These cobblestones really do get quite slippy when they're wet. This uh, Maskavas Ela, I think is the one we're coming up to here. It's been described as lightly trafficked due to the cobbles. Certainly some cobbles. And uh, yeah, doesn't appear to be a great deal of traffic here. <clears throat> can get a tram along here by the looks of it. Yeah, 
this is uh, a Skava Sila. I love the wooden houses as well. Notice that uh, as soon as you get out of the centre, there's a lot of a lot of these wooden houses around. <clears throat> right, well, this is quite a big park. Then we're just going to take a gentle stroll around here, and then walk back through the, the old Jewish cemetery back to the trolley bus stop, and take three more hops. See where it brings us out. So uh, back to the trolley bus stop. The next, uh, or the stopping, uh, three stops from here will be Slavu Ila. Slavu Ila. So um, that will be the one I get off at next. Very interesting place. Uh, as I say, this is uh, a Jewish cemetery and uh, there's also the Muscovus Park. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly uh, over there. There's a number 15 going in the opposite direction. So, right, onwards, let's get uh, back on the trolley. So according to Google at least, there'll be one along in about four minutes time, so not long to wait. And uh, we'll see what we have at the next stop. So that was uh, Lomon Lomonos over Hila. Well, now I see Hila. made up this method of uh, checking out the number 15 route by jumping off at every third stop. Obviously on the way back I don't want to uh, not finish, the third stop will be the end of the line. So uh, the first one when I turn back and head back towards the centre of Riga, I'll jump off at the second stop and then every third, then I won't be stopping at the same places on the way back. Um, so yeah, it's a make it up as you go along system. Uh, semi chosen at random, a bit of help from Google, and just make it up as you're going along afterwards. And uh, it's amazing what you come across when you do things like that. Uh, so, yeah, just waiting here at the, at the trolley stop for the next one. Uh, there's a few people just appeared, so I guess it'll be long very shortly. And uh, we'll hop three spots, stops, and uh, see what we find there.
Well, just <laughs> just having a quick look around here. Um, I sort of get the feeling I'm not going to be here for very long. Uh, just uh, appears this road here where I've just got off the trolley, Slavarila. Uh, seems to run adjacent to a railway line. Um, uh, a big flyover and some blocks of flats. I'm just going to head to Google for a moment and just to see if there's anything of interest around here. It's not looking all that promising, it has to be said, but uh, let's have a look anyway. We've got uh, about 10 minutes before the next one. There is um, a big shopping centre just over there, which I think I'll just walk to. Acropole, uh, which used to be, I believe, uh, if I remember, if I remember correctly from reading the article in the newspaper that I read online that told me about this route. That used to be a factory, a porcelain factory, or something along those lines. So, uh, there was some history there. Right, yeah, okay, that's it. Let's go to the Acropole Riga, see what we've got there. And, uh, and then head back to the trolley and jump another three stops and see what we end up with. Not really sure what this shopping centre is uh, going to have in it, but it looks quite big with a big car park. So I'm fairly confident that there'll be a coffee shop in here because it's about time. It's now late morning and about two hours since I had a coffee. So I am overdue. And uh, so I'm gonna go in here, use the facilities, get a drink, quick look round, head back to the trolley. Well, I'm guessing that is um, where the factory used to be. And this has just sort of been joined onto it in some way. So, that's interesting. I shall uh, wander down there as well, have a look at that. I love doing all of this. It's amazing. Places that you would never come to or probably get sent to. to try it people random public transport journeys three stops and have a look it's got to be the way it's got some big name um, uh, retailers uh, all blazoned across the front there looks to be quite a high-end type of place right let's go and have a look around stops here by the way we get on bus I'm gonna walk all the way back to the trolley stop keep this going <laughs> oh just what I needed um, warm up a little bit because it is quite chilly outside still well what can I say pretty standard shopping mall nice big clean and not particularly busy although it is uh, a Monday morning big though let's go this way nothing really much of interest to video here if I see anything I'll uh, add it on but uh, go in a shopping mall more or less anywhere in the world and you'll see much the same there are a few brand names that I uh, don't really recognize from uh, my part of the world but they might well just be places that uh, just got a different name here who knows hooligan hooligan oh, I should have gone there bubble tea from hooligan the bubble saves Riga again <laughs> I like that that's cool that's something different <laughs> Thank you. 
From the way a few on Twitter were waxing lyrical about the, the trolley bus, uh, I think that trolley bus route uh, number 15 has, uh, has uh, saved Riga as well. It was described by one, one person. Uh, it didn't translate particularly well, but uh, I think it, uh, in essence it was saying uh, contains uh, all of Riga life and smell and the smells too or something along those lines i've not seen anything too dramatic like that on there this morning just uh your usual people going about their business um no uh funky smells or anything else like that but yeah it's uh, it's always interesting just to just to see Right, well that's warmed me up going in there. A bit too much really, because uh, it feels super cold now I've come back outside. Anyway, that's the uh, Acropole, I hope I'm saying that right, the um, shopping mall looked at. And uh, yeah, it appears that there was a factory here at one time. And the, the old building there, the red brick building, I can just see in the window people on treadmills. So that's uh, clearly been turned into a, a gym. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a nice looking building actually, so it's, it's, it's a good thing it hasn't been just demolished in favour of this uh, standard shopping mall set up that's here and uh, the built around it. Right, back to the number 15, three stops, Let's see what we find there. Yeah, so just this one there. It's a couple of minutes walk back to the tram stop, the trolley bus stop, so uh, hopefully I won't have to wait too long. It seems to be about every nine, seven to nine minutes during the day, so by the time I've walked up there, there should be another one due fairly soon anyway. Obviously don't, uh, don't do this kind of uh, three stops and hop off unless it's a very regular service, otherwise you could be waiting around a very long time. You'd have to plan your day a lot better than I, than I have done today. Yeah, just a pretty standard suburban area of Riga. Fairly decent shopping centre, quite quiet, mind you. I'm sure it gets busier at the weekend. Right, let's wait for this next number 15. Welcome to Rushonu Ila. Hopefully pronouncing that correct again. Uh, right. Yeah. Now, interestingly, the next stop that uh, from the last one where I got off and then walked to the mole, stopped at the mole. So, based on my two followed by three, 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 back into Riga later on, I'll be ending up stopping at that stop. Uh, might just do that because it might be a handy place to stop again for a, a warm drink and pop inside and use the facilities because thus far there doesn't appear to have been uh, a great deal of those but um, interesting what's that boozy it's got to be a bar surely or an alcohol shop boozy That's what it is, I guess. Was a, a sort of a supermarket with one or two other concession stands in there. There's a very strange smell when I walked in. 
And then I realized that one of the concession stands was a pet shop, so it sort of smelt of uh, little animal, furry animals and pet food and stuff like that. So it explains that. Right, well, there's nothing much to see here, to be fair. There's a few shops, um, all the usual stuff you would need in a suburb. The chemist just around the corner. Does that mean it's controlled by gangs? Is that what that means? Better get out of here. Could be dodgy. I think that's what that means in America, doesn't it? That one, someone's just thrown the show shoes up and uh, got it on the telegraph cable. Right, looks like the next trolley's coming, so uh, yeah, that was a six minute visit. Better make sure I catch this. Let's see if it's uh, a gang controlled ghetto. I jest, I jest, and I apologise to. I'm sure it's perfectly fine, it seems great. It's just a bit of a factory going on over there, some shops, and uh, not a huge else to report. But here comes the next trolley. Let's go three more stops, see what we see there. Plaster really. Um, my penultimate stop, three more down there, is the end of the line. I shall get off there, obviously, have a little look around and then set off back towards Riga. Um, I'll start off with two and then three all the way back and see, see where it takes us uh, once again. <laughs> As I said before, um, probably another visit to the big shopping mall as uh, that will be one of the stops on the way back um, this is a slightly smarter part of town I would say there's a school uh, just to my right there I shan't go filming through the, over towards that and uh, generally it uh, seems a slightly more quieter vibe around here Tell me what you think. Is this uh, a nice neighbourhood here in Riga? Just going to take a little walk up there a little way, turn around and come back and I'll just jump on the next trolley which should be in about uh, six or seven minutes time. There's something really nice about the trolley buses actually. I'm not saying uh, there's another one actually, but I'm not going to get that one, I'll get the one after. Um, that's come to way too quickly. I want to afford this place slightly uh, more of my time. But something I quite like about trolley buses in that uh, I mean they're electric like trams that run on rubber wheels, so you, you've kind of got the best of both worlds in some regards. Only big problem with them, of course, is. Uh, like a tram, they can't really deviate to off. Well, they can't deviate at all off their route because of uh, um, requiring the overhead power. Same with trams. Uh, whereas buses, of course, can be diverted down different roads if there's roads closed or uh, that sort of thing going on. But uh, yeah, they are a nice quiet and uh, smooth ride compared to a bus and less um, bumpy and bouncy than a tram so um, I say get more trolley buses there used to be quite a few in Britain back in the day a long long time ago but they've long since gone right, I'm going to walk down to the end of this street here up to the end Have a little walk back. Typical suburban area of a city, really. Nothing much to report. I wonder why that 
tree was chopped down. All the others are here. what that shed's for as well. There's just sort of a random shed building there in the middle of this grassy area. <laughs> Bit of story behind that, what it used to be, bicycle stand or meeting point or something. Looks like it needs a bit of work doing on it these days though. Just uh, blocks of flats. Not noticed any 5G here in Riga. Uh, certainly get a good 4G everywhere you go, but uh, not noticed five yet. It's not uh, not been brought in yet. Just noticed the uh, mobile phone masts up there. Just uh, made me think of that. Right, so I've done a circle of the school really. Okay, back to the trolley. Uh, next stop will be the end of the line or the beginning of it, dependent on your point of view. I'll have a little look round there and then head back towards Riga, stopping off at, uh, well, wherever we, uh, wherever it is. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Check out my other uh, videos of the number three bus, number 11 tram, both of which, uh, well, certainly the bus was, uh, went to, to spectacularly beautiful places by the coast. Uh, this is uh, a little bit more of the real parts of Riga, as was the uh, tram ride. The bus was uh, the bus journey to uh, the coast that was sublime, or the well, the destination was anyway. Right, okay, let's find this trolley and head onwards. Right, well, we're here at the <laughs> at the end of the line. End of the number 15 trolley bus line. And there's the trolley bus station, turn round point. Uh, right, let's have a little look about before we start heading back into the city. It does certainly have the kind of uh, end of the line feel here, although I'm sure it's not the end of Riga itself, uh, but uh, it does have that feeling of being quite a long way away from the centre. There's a freight yard just over here, it's rail, rail train freight, uh, locomotive here, rather happily named road just here. There's a railway station just up there. A five minute walk. So I'm just going to take a stroll up to there, see what's going on, and then head back to the track back aboard the number 15. It's number 18 bus. Here comes the next trolley just out of the depot. On the, the next, uh, well, next but one, I should imagine. By the time I've got up here, right, there's something I want to look at in this general direction, which 
which is uh, back along the trolley route towards Riga. I'm going to walk to the second stop once I've... Um, I'm almost at the first stop now. So once I've had a little look at this railway station over here, because they're usually quite, in, they're quite nice ones in Europe and uh, generally speaking are worth, worthy of a quick visit to have a look around. So I'm just going to go and do that. And then I'll walk to stop number two, which will be first stop on the way back and take it from three from there and uh, walked from stop the um, starting point back there to stop number one uh, trolley stop number one which is just coming up here so uh, as I say have a look at this station see what's going on there and then uh, head to stop number two otherwise I'll just be double back in, doubling back on myself And here we have it, Skirotova, Skirotova railway station. It's an interesting looking building. And here comes a train. I think this one's stopping here. Let's have a look, see what sort of surface operates from here. Somebody sat on the platform just there, so. Uh, Not for me though, I've got my uh, trolley bus ticket and I'm sticking to it. There's a couple of people waiting on the platform. Yeah, the next one heading in a southward direction away from the city is in about 10 minutes and about 20 minutes for one heading back in the other direction in back into back into Riga itself. Alright, let's just take a little walk around. I've been on these um, been on the trains before and uh, they're, they're, it's like going back in time. They they they're in uh, desperate need of an upgrade. Slightly lacking in facilities. This be a train depot over there. Freight depot down there. And that's it. Skirotava. Last one. 21st of November 2022. I wonder what it was the last one of. a nice waiting room here at one time that you could go and sit in. It's all locked up now. Ah, looks like the uh, coffee machine's taken a bit of a pounding as well. Goodbye Skorotova railway station, it was nice knowing you. Right, let's go back and find the next trolley stop, which should be down this road. Not too far away. And the magic, there's the next 
this trolley stop. I knew if I followed those wires, so they'll bring me to one eventually. Not stupidly. A few people waiting there as well, so with a bit of luck, I won't have to wait too long. Uh, this would this would have been stop number two had I got on at the beginning of the line. And, um, I don't think there's an awful lot here that I'd have hung around for, to be fair. But seeing the railway station was interesting. Right, then. right. let's go and join this wonderful trolley number 15, head back towards Riga, bit by bit. Prusu Iela. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Back to the university. Uh, so that's what. Uh, that's five stops, and the sixth one being the university. Right here she comes. All aboard. Three stops. Let's see what's at the next one. Okay, and uh, welcome to uh, Mel Navas Yella. Um, okay, well, there's one thing that's uh, caught my interest. That's that. So I don't know if I can get to that. Uh, I'm going to have a try because other than that, it's uh, just a regular suburban area. So I'm just going to. Take, go down here and take this road over here to the right and walk around see if I can go and have a look and see what that is. Certainly got a lot of uh, mobile phone masts on there at the moment, nowadays. I'll see if I can see what it used to be. Looks a bit like a water tower but uh, honestly I have no idea. I don't have any idea if I can get to it either. But we shall see. Some more shops over there. Certainly not short of little uh, convenience stores. Someone shouting. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on over there. Might be a school actually, so I'm probably not really going to be able to go in there. Interesting looking building though. Anyone can tell me what that is, or what it was, or what it continues to be? There's a lot of kids shouting, and the gate's shut, and uh, Probably not a good idea to go in there. I don't really know what that is. Interesting collection of flags on the outside, including a Ukraine flag. So perhaps it's uh, looking after some uh, Ukraines, Ukrainian people. I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to wander in anyway, just to be on the safe side. just gone it's about 12 30 now noon and this is probably the warmest it's going to get for the rest of the day uh it's quite pleasant now once you're out the wind it's that wind that is uh, particularly chilly i don't think i'm going to get to that tower without wandering into the uh, grounds of that place where everyone was doing a bit of shouting but it's uh, Interesting looking building anyway. 1961 it's got. Yeah, I don't know what this is at all. So um, people seem to be just coming and going. So I'm just going to wander in. Uh, the gate's not locked, so I can't see that it'd be a major problem. What's the worst that can happen? All right, well, that was interesting enough, although I didn't find out what that tower actually was. So I so say, if there's anyone watching this that knows, please pop a comment in the comments box down below. Uh, this appears to be some kind of school or 
college and I probably shouldn't have been in there really but anyway no harm done no one shouted at me so right let's head back to the trolley stop move on three see what we see hey is that a new catchphrase move on three see what we see <laughs> here he goes right well the next uh, three along from here is Kuznikov's um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong but that was the um, trolley stop outside the shopping mall that I went into earlier on so I am going to call in there because uh, I'd like to grab another coffee and use the facilities um, if it wasn't for those two reasons I'll probably go past that one as I've um, technically already been there but um, yeah I'm going to stop at that one and uh, quick uh, quick visit in there and then carry on to three after that whatever wherever that leads us to so I'll see you at uh, Koz Koznikov's very interesting looking tower right well here we are again back at the uh, shopping mall that used to be a factory Kuznia Chops it sounded like they pronounced this place um, so I completely murdered that earlier on I'm probably still murdering it now but uh, anyway I'm going to pop in here warm up for a bit get another coffee use the facilities maybe have a bite to eat and then uh, carry on to the uh, to the next uh, whatever's three three along from here ah so i thought i saw something that resembled uh, or suggesting that there was going to be an ice skating rink here and uh, so there is, right in the middle of the shopping mall. There's a theatre here too somewhere as well apparently. Sports Direct, they get everywhere. Yeah, so, uh, and restaurants, usual kind of stuff in here. Um, but yeah, that's interesting to see a, a, a um, ice skating rink. Smack bang in the middle of a shopping mall. That's certainly different. I like it. Otherwise, it's pretty standard as shopping malls go, with all the usual uh, well-known retailers. One or two that I've not heard of before, but um, on the whole. Right, let's head back to that, uh, my, my favorite trolley route in Riga, the number, the number 15 can't beat it or if you can beat it let me know next time I come here I'll I'll take another route yeah so if anyone suggests a different uh, trolley route to take but since this one's got its own Twitter account I thought I uh, I owed it at uh, at least uh, first dibs when it comes to uh, my attention but if there's any others you think I should try or indeed bus and tram routes as you'll see there's um, a number of other videos put out the number 11 tram and the number three bus route, which I did a similar thing to this. Uh, and if you think there's other trams or bus routes in Riga that can beat those, or are worthy of a little little visit then, uh, or a little ride on, then uh, please let me know. And there's the cinema. Well, I think it was described as a theatre, which in my language at least is two entirely different things. Maybe there's a theatre as well. Uh, standard car advert in the middle of the mall. Right, let's head back and uh, run across that dual carriageway to, uh, to get back to the trolley stop. Right, suitably refreshed, had a coffee, used the facilities, warmed up a bit. Last few legs now, back to the uh, University of Latvia. That's always uh, an interesting look. I mean, obviously we've got uh, a, lot of a lot of currencies up there uh, available to swap from into Euros. Um, but the headline currencies they're showing, the good old British pound, of course, US dollar, Russian rubles, and Norwegian crowns. 
Um, presumably those are the three most likely currencies they're going to get given here. Me personally, I would uh, get yourself an exchange card from your bank uh, that's all that you can transfer money from your own currency into euros at a bank rate, at their bank rate and uh, just use cash point machines here if you need cash but most of the stuff is available on contactless uh, I would say you don't really need that much cash here hard cash interestingly I got uh, third accommodation uh, where you pay in advance they didn't want to collect the money for the Riga city tax of one euro per person per night. So I got presented a bill for four euros. And um, uh, they want that in cash. So bit bear that one in mind. Uh, if, uh, if you are here and you haven't got much in the way of hard cash, draw a little bit out and go and buy a few things and get the right requisite amount in coinage. Otherwise you'll end up leaving a tenner or a uh, 20 behind which is obviously way more than they're actually asking for okay where's that tro where's that trolley stop um, right the way over there okay right let's head on can't remember what the next one will be but three from here will be our next stop By far the longest wait for a trolley bus I've had so far. Uh, I don't know if one was cancelled or uh, there's some problems somewhere along the line, but there's quite a few people built up at this shopping mall and still no sign of one. So I've been here well over 10 minutes now, probably heading towards 15 actually. So I have a feeling one may have got cancelled. But there you go, that's public transport for you. Doesn't always run perfectly smoothly, but it's pretty good here in Riga, I have to say, generally speaking. Um, and it does seem to actually tally with what uh, what Google tells you, which uh, is always useful because uh, Google's certainly not always right with these things. So um, anyway, beautiful spring sunshine to stand in, albeit a slightly cool breeze. Is this one coming now? <clears throat> no. Right, we'll carry on waiting then. This is going to be a, this is going to be a busy one when it arrives. Because uh, this, uh, this number 15 does seem to get quite full up, it has to be said. Oh, that was a bit of a car crash, that one. Um, absolutely ram solid. Presumably because there's been a delay or a cancellation of a service. And I'll just count, I couldn't, uh, the PA wasn't working screens weren't working uh, anyway so three along is this place Re Resnes Ilia, Ilia. Um, absolutely no idea what's here but uh, down here looks like it might be interesting so let's go and have a look feels like getting back in towards the city again now as uh, the last few stops has, has felt very uh, remote what's the word very uh, edge of town
lot of railway track going south from Riga. I don't know if this is the main line heading towards Lithuania. Uh, certainly heading in that general direction. So getting across from one side to the other is not an easy task. <clears throat> They look quite nice new trains. tell you that wind when you get up here is quite strong it's probably blowing all over the microphone and extraordinarily cold right let's get back to the trolley Appears, I think there's a railway station just up there as well. Certainly a train depot. And some stable trains. Other than that, there's the huge mile of railroad around here. Milanu Iala. This just seems to be very close to an extremely large cemetery. Okay, two trolleys in one go. Okay, well, uh, I've just translated the sign at the entrance, and this is the graveyard of the Soviet soldiers. And uh, certainly a lot of the, the headstones are in Russian.
railway sidings. Uh, you can see the city of Riga is getting quite close now, the centre of Riga. Just over there. A few more stops on the on the trolley bus and uh, I'll be back, back to the university. I think there'll be one more stop at the end. I believe this is just the section for the uh, Russian soldiers. The rest of the cemetery is um, is uh, for Latvia or Latvians and uh, more recent passings. These are all during the Second World War. Russians have lost their lives during that conflict. Hence the sign there. I misunderstood the sign actually when I came in. It's obviously specifically just refers to this part of the cemetery. Not the rest of it. Right, well, that was an interesting stroll. Head back to the trolley, go three more, and we're almost back. We've nearly done the full trip from one end of 15 to the other and back again. And I've only had two coffees. <laughs> Should be another one along fairly shortly. Right, well, the, uh, the last stop before the end. And um, Rigi, you've saved the best till last in terms of names of places. Gogola. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, Gogola. So, let's have a little look, see what we've got here. Um, right, they're interesting buildings. Yep, I think I'm gonna take a walk over there. If I can just, if I can just... like the telegraph poles as well, tele telegraph, uh, presume they're telegraph poles. They're fun. Right, let's go around this way, have a little look. I saw an interesting building just around there displaying a Latvian flag, so let's go and see what that's all about. Then that'll be it, back to the university and a bit of a rest. It's, um, the full length of this journey from start to finish, if you do it in one go, is uh, I think about 35, maybe 40 minutes. Um, there and back, getting off that I've done, calling in shopping malls and wandering around. has taken me somewhere in the order of about four hours, possibly slightly longer than that. I'm presuming these are just residential buildings, apartments and so on, but they're certainly very grand. I do like these buildings. A lot of character. Yeah. 
fuel at 170 a litre. You're doing that. I'm going to do a big circle. Interesting. Subsidence has been going on there. That almost looks like uh, it's pushed up from this right hand side rather than the left hand side sinking. Now well, that's happened. <laughs> yeah. The right hand side is. gone upwards. Amazing. All right. Okay. Let's head back to the trolley bus stop for the last time. Head back to the University of uh, Latvia and uh, I'm going to go back and have a nice little rest I have to say. If you've got any comments you want to make about all of this, uh, any interesting factoids or places that I saw along the way that I, I just didn't know what they were or why they were like the way they are such as that tower whatever the tower is if it's a uh, water tower or something else um, let me know please and uh, I will look out for your comments Here she comes, the last one, and packed as usual. Right, so there we have it, we've gone full circle. Um, back to where we started some four or so hours ago, and uh, ridden the 15 all the way to the end of the line and back with a few stop-offs on the way. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It was good fun. Um, obviously, everywhere we stopped at was uh, not necessarily um, picture postcard stuff and Instagrammable but interesting all the same so let me know what you think if you've got this far then congratulations you probably deserve a prize uh, let me know what you think about it should I do some more or not bother anymore uh, what should I do um, I'll be visiting some more cities soon and I'll probably get a public transport pass and go and do something similar so look out for my other videos, they're just a general video on Riga itself, um, mostly the um, old Riga, uh, the one number three bus, number 11 tram and the one you've just watched now, the number 15 trolley bus. Thanks for watching, see you again, bye now.